Welcome to Ben's tour of Romsey. I'm a native and I'll be showing you around. Today we're forecasting a sunny day without any clouds. This is Romsey Market. It's here every day. You can buy fruit there and flowers there. Sometimes there's a man who comes and sells bread and olives. He's quite nice. Um, then here is Bradbeard's. It's just the front, the front facade. It used to be the Dolphin Hotel. Which was no, from 1864, it was the corn exchange where we all sold corn and exchanged corn and everyone was happy. <laughs> this is the White Horse Hotel, uh, one of the oldest hotels in Romsey. There's one of the Tudor walls inside which everyone's very excited about. Now it's a four star hotel and it's got a blue plaque so it's important. This is the centre of Romsey, this is the town hall where all the important decisions were made and this is the statue of Lord Palmerston who owned the local ro uh, royal aristocratic estate here and was also the Prime Minister of England in the 19th century. This is Romsey Abbey. It's the smallest church in Romsey. Uh, Romsey Abbey was saved during the reformation of King Henry VIII by the four guardians of Romsey who bought it for the people of the town. And this was a graveyard and now it's a park. Well, it's still a graveyard, but also a park. Uh, there's a rumour that if you walk around the abbey three or four times, then you see a ghost of a girl. It's real. But she wouldn't agree to be filmed. Much of a big deal. She wasn't exactly a pin out of Here is King John's house. It was a hunting lodge when King John built around 1250. No one's quite sure how many times he came here or if he even came here, but it's still King John's hunting lodge. Look like Blue plaque. This was uh, a convent with a room of miracles and apparently the Virgin Mary. And now it's broken. Here is the salmon leap. In years gone by, about 30 years ago, there used to be so many salmon here swimming up river that you could see them all jumping out of the water and you could even pick them up. In recent years there's not so many, probably due to overfishing, but there's still swans, so every cloud has a silver lining. Here we see the male wild duck cleaning itself. He is washing his back. Copyright of Ben Tors Romsey. Here is the house of the world-renowned chef Gordon Ramsay or his sister. He swears a lot. Bloody nice house. This is a thistle. Thistle. Very good man. Thank you. And what color is this? Red. 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 A fire. Red. And what are these? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, today it's raining. In England we have lots of terms for rain. This kind of rain is called drizzle. Otherwise we have heavy rain, or light rain, or showers. Or when it's really, really heavy rain, it's raining cats and dogs. Uh, when it's raining ice, we call it hail. And when it's half rain, half snow, we call it slurry. Or, what's the other word? Um, I've forgotten. <laughs> the weather in England is so terrible, according to the Daily Mail, because the jet streams move, and normally it passes north of England, and now it's passing south of England. So Europe's nice and hot, and we're nice and rainy. The end.